Stephen Hawking is incredibly famous. You know him, and you can see his image anywhere. However, he is also well known for having ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a neurodegenerative disease. Stephen Hawking was a genius with an intelligent mind, famous in both the scientific community and popular culture, partly due to his complex and mind-bending theories on how the universe operates. What's even more admirable is that he accomplished everything from a wheelchair with a speech-generating device, and he contributed significantly to quantum theory. What is ALS? ALS is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. The term amyotrophic literally means no muscle nourishment. However, it is not the muscles that are directly affected by ALS. Instead, the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord degenerate, causing the brain to lose the ability to control muscles. This can result in the loss of the ability to walk, write, speak, or even breathe. Once muscles do not receive commands and remain inactive for an extended period, they begin to atrophy. Fortunately for Stephen Hawking, his respiratory and swallowing functions were not affected. In 1990, he was still able to use his fingers, but they gradually weakened and eventually ceased functioning. His inability to speak was not due to ALS, but rather to a severe case of pneumonia in 1985, which required him to use a ventilator and have a tracheostomy. He communicated through a speech-generating device, initially using a hand switch and later using his cheek muscle. Causes and Mechanism No one knows exactly why or how nerve cells become damaged, which is why ALS is so difficult to cure. The incidence of ALS is 2 in 100,000 people. In about 90% of cases, the disease appears suddenly, without specific warning signs. The remaining 10% are due to genetic factors. Typically, symptoms appear after age 40, but in Stephen Hawking's case, ALS appeared earlier. The triggers and causes of ALS may include toxins, viruses, lifestyle, and environmental factors. However, hypotheses about the causes are still being developed. ALS often involves inflammation in the brain and spinal cord, with immune cells also contributing to the destruction of motor neurons. Treatment. Treatment methods for ALS can only slow the progression of the disease, prolonging the patient's life before respiratory failure necessitates tracheostomy and mechanical ventilation. Treatment includes medications such as Reluzole and Edaravone, along with symptomatic treatment to manage the various complications that ALS patients may experience, such as respiratory muscle weakness, difficulty swallowing, nutrition issues, speech disorders, fatigue, muscle spasms, psychological concerns, and sleep disturbances. Why did Stephen Hawking live so long? Stephen Hawking's case is a miracle, as he was able to live with ALS for such a long time. After being diagnosed, patients typically live an additional two to five years. Hawking passed away on March 14, 2018, at the age of 76, after more than 50 years of living with motor neuron disease. There are many reasons why Stephen Hawking lived so long with ALS, a disease that devastates both the body and the human spirit. Certainly good medical care played a role, but it is clear that he was a unique intellectual, undeterred by illness. He maintained an optimistic outlook on life, traveled the world, and even experienced zero gravity. He once said, Space, here I come. He also remarked, I am very lucky to work in theoretical physics, one of the few areas in which disability is not a serious handicap. Stephen Hawking's advice. When asked by the New York Times to give advice to other disabled individuals, he said, focus on the things your disability does not prevent you from doing well, and don't regret the things it interferes with.